Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm Prashant. I'm the founder of Word Pandit and I'm bringing this series of videos to you wherein I explain to you previous year CAT RC questions. Here we've got a CAT 2018 RC question and we'll go through the video explanation for the same. Before you go through the explanation for this particular question, make sure you solve the passage and you've gone through the passage analysis video. That's going to greatly help you understand the passage. Now, what does this question ask? It states in paragraph 4, the evidence that humans routinely ate these types of snails before the advent of agriculture can be used to conclude that. Now the good thing with this question is it states the paragraph number and it states a very specific extract in the passage. Your job is to go back to this reference, figure out how and why is this used and from there you can derive the answer. Let's go back to the specific context here. What does it say? The context very clearly states there is a very clear pattern which is difficult to explain except by involving humans. The clear pattern which is being referred to is the fact that these snails are found in Ireland as well as the Pyrenees Mountains. Humans after all colonized Ireland 9000 years ago and the oldest fossil evidence of grove snails in Ireland dates back to roughly the same era. So human beings they landed up in Ireland 9000 years ago and snails also landed up in Ireland roughly the same time. Additionally, there is archaeological evidence of early sea trade between ancient peoples of Spain and Ireland via the Atlantic and even evidence that humans routinely ate these types of snails before the advent of agriculture as their burnt shells have been found in Stone Age trash heaps. Now human beings ate these snails before the advent of agriculture and there is evidence of trade. If you join these two facts, what is it that we arrive at? We arrive at the fact that people who traveled, right, people who were involved in this trade or people who were using this route between the Pyrenees Mountains to Ireland or between Spain specifically and Ireland, these people, they ended up carrying these snails and they ate these types of snails before the advent of agriculture. That means these travelers, they were eating these snails and because they were eating these snails, they ended up carrying these snails from Spain to Ireland. That is what happened. Which one of these options highlights this fact that these snails might have been carried by these travelers option number C does that for us. The seafarers who traveled from the Pyrenees to the Ireland might have carried white lipped snails with them as edibles. They might have carried it with them as food and this might be the cause for the existence of these snails in these two different locations. Hence option number C is the correct answer. Option number A, what does it state? Uh, 9000 years ago, during the Stone Age, humans traveled from the south of France to Ireland via the Atlantic Ocean. This, even though this explains or this picks up a fact from this particular extract, right? This does not help us identify what has the author concluded from this particular fact. This is not the conclusion. Humans eating these snails does not help us conclude the fact that humans traveled from south of France to Ireland via the Atlantic Ocean. That's a fact which has been mentioned in the passage. This is not the conclusion that we derive from this particular fact. Remember, humans are eating something and before the advent of agriculture, they are eating snails. What is the conclusion that you derive out of this context? You want to understand the question. The question is asking you what is it that you conclude from this statement? Can you conclude this that humans travel from south of France to Ireland by the Atlantic Ocean just because they ate snails? You cannot conclude that. Ruled out. B. White-lived group snails may have inadvertently traveled from the Pyrenees to Ireland. Now this is not inadvertent travel on the floor of the small coast hugging skiffs that early seafarers used for travel. This is not inadvertent travel. They were actually transported on purpose, right? They were taken along with them because they were food. So they are, this is not inadvertent travel. Hence option number B ruled out. Option number D, rivers and oceans in the Stone Age facilitated trade in white-lipped group snails. Again, this is not a conclusion that you derive from this specific piece of information. Remember, you've got to derive a conclusion from this information. This is an unrelated fact, unrelated in the sense it just tells us that rivers and oceans in the Stone Age facilitated trade in white lip group snails. Fair enough. But how does this explain or how does this correlate with the fact that humans ate these snails? It does not. Hence, 
ruled out. Therefore, option number C is the correct answer. We've eliminated options number A, B and D and option number C we've already explained how is it the correct answer. Hopefully so, you are clear with the question now. Thank you very much for watching this video and as always, happy learning.